Hello everyone, 747 updates are back, woohoo! Uh, I've missed you guys, we haven't had one of these in a while, and they're actually going to look a lot different, and I'm really excited about uh, the future of these 747 updates. So, um, let me go over what's different, and then I'll actually go over the 747 uh, for this update. So, you might have noticed in Copilot, under the support tab, if you click release notes, this looks a little bit different than it used to. And that's because we are going to be um, writing uh, much more detailed release notes for Copilot. Um, and I'll show you one here that um, in the past, we kind of only went over new features and what they did. And now in the future, we're going to go over new features. There's going to be a video breaking down each of those features instead of just one long video. And we're going to also uh, show all the bug fixes we did um in between each update so uh this is this is really good i actually think this is going to be a, a, a huge improvement over what we were doing in the past um whereas we had our update notes and then we have our had our live bug tracker the thing about the live bug, bug tracker is it showed you what we were working on in real time um, but it didn't uh, give you any history so once it was off the live bug tracker it was kind of gone so um, once we get some of these built up, you'll actually be able to see a whole history of everything that we've worked on at Copilot, uh, which I think is pretty great. So um, the way that these updates are going to be different uh, are is actually a few ways. Uh, one, uh, we're just going to post them uh, maybe a little bit randomly. Uh, before we were posting these every morning, every Saturday morning at 7.47 a.m., which is why we called it the 7.47 update. Um, now we're actually going to post it um, any day at either 7.47 a.m. or 7.47 p.m. Uh, just to keep you guys uh, guessing, get some surprises throughout the day. So I think that's kind of fun. Uh, and then the other thing is these videos that I'm going to be posting on YouTube and in the Facebook group, um, these are going to be more of a high level overview of the release notes for uh for each release. And then if you hear something that piques your interest, I will always link the most uh, up-to-date release notes in the description of either the YouTube video or the Facebook post. <clears throat> that way, if I go over a feature that you want to know more about how it works, um, you can go to the release notes and actually watch the video and read the description of um, each update that we made. So uh, that is how these are going to look different. And with all that out of the way, uh, let's go over the release notes for today, which is April 17th. So we are still really focusing on stability this week, um, uh, but we did release a few a few features that I'll go over. So the first feature is uh, an update to the show due date on invoices setting for all customers. Um, so we just updated the global setting for showing the due date on invoices. Before it was kind of a conflict between the customer specific setting and the global setting. Now it's much more clear on what, what each of these settings do. So if you want to show due dates on your invoices, definitely go check out um, how this works in the release notes. Next thing we did was uh, uh, we put a stamp counter on the invoices and estimates page. So if you're not aware, you can actually um, use Copilot to send invoices and estimates via USPS. Uh, you just have to purchase stamps in the store. Um, so we added a counter to show you how many stamps you have remaining. And the last thing is we greatly increased our server capacity. Uh, I definitely recommend checking out this video. I just kind of explained what this graph is, uh, but you should be experiencing a lot faster uh, uh, load times, fewer slowdowns, and, and a lot greater reliability because of this. So, And then uh, here's all the bugs we fixed. I'm not going to go over these in too much detail, but as you can see, we've been pretty busy. Um, so if you're interested, you can always come and check it out there and see the exact time even that it was, it was resolved. So um, yeah. Welcome back to 747 Updates. That's kind of how they're going to look from now on. Um, and as always, thank you so much for being a part of Copilot.